Well, the next topic is uh, network devices. See, uh, in computer networking, in the design and implementation of computer network, we use different types of devices, which are called network devices, which are either used for the interconnection of two different networks, maybe LAN and LAN, LAN or WAN, or maybe other configurations. So first I would like to show you, before I come here to pen down, I would like to show you in the presentation uh, what are the various network devices that are placed or used at different uh, layers. Like at physical layer, we use uh, primarily devices which are called repeaters and hub. At data link layer, we use devices which are called bridges and switches. And then uh, network layer, we use uh, routers. Transport layer, we use transport gateways and like that application layer, application gateways. So we are primarily going to have a look at each of them. And of course, in earlier video, uh, or while discussing, uh, uh, after discussing wireless uh, LANs, we have talked about bridges. Bridge is a unit, bridge is a device. I have shown you the physical uh, image of the bridge also in my earlier video. You can watch that again if you have not. Bridge is used for interconnection of two similar or dissimilar LANs. I have shown you two types of bridges, right? Transparent and uh, source routing bridges. And we have seen the functionality of them, etc. So like that, we have other devices which are called repeaters, switch, router, etc. That we will have a look at it. But before that, this is general frame format, which we have seen several times. Frame is an encapsulation of a packet. Packet comes from the network layer. So this is the packet, which includes TCP header because it descends from the transport layer. So TCP header, then this is, a, this is the actual user data. These are all the uh, headers that are added. We add TCP header, we add IP header, packet header, frame header. So these are complete frame CRC, which comes at data link layer. And then from data link layer, it go to physical layer. And from physical layer, it get transmitted onto the communication channel in the form of bits. This we have seen so many times. So therefore, before uh, we proceed, before we proceed to bridge and routers, I would like to again uh, start my discussion. Okay, so let's see. It got stuck. So let's see uh, discussion on uh, what we call repeaters and then uh, hubs and then we'll go to switch etc. So first I will start my discussion. I will start my discussion with repeaters. Earlier occasion, maybe in my unit one, I might have uh, briefly talked about repeaters, but here we will have a detailed discussion with regard to repeaters. So I, I, I'll write down the points first. First point, it is a physical layer device. I'm writing in short, hope you'll allow me, physical layer device, okay. And it is essentially a two port device. It is a two port device. It has only two ports connecting two different networks. Like for example, imagine this is host one, this is host two. Suppose if these two are connected by a very long cable, communication cable, maybe two estate pair, coaxial cable, etc. But as I mentioned earlier, every cable will have a limitation in terms of the length that it can carry the signal. Means it cannot, the, 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 the cable cannot carry the signal to the maximum possible extent to whatever length it, if you have, if you have, right? So it will always have a carrying capacity in terms of length. Maybe you can say it can support up to 500 meters. So beyond 500 meters. So what I'm trying to say, for example, if these two hosts are interconnected by more than 500 meters distance. So in that case, the signal will get attenuated or signal will get dissipated. So if you want to amplify or boost up the signal, regain the signal strength, then what we do is we'll, we can add this device called repeater. Means it is going to repeat the signal by amplifying it. So therefore, there is one port connecting to the one end of host one and the other port of repeater will be connecting to the other host. So this is the maximum distance that it can carry and then beyond that if you want to extend, I put the repeater. So as the data comes in the form of signals, it will get amplified, boosted up and then sent, uh, pass it on, forward it to the other communication line. It won't modify the data, it won't look at the addresses. The job of the repeater is simply to amplify the signal and send it. So these are analog devices. These are analog devices. The repeaters are analog devices. Okay that work with signals on cables, on communication line. A signal appearing on cable is cleaned up, amplified and put on another cable, right? 
cleaned up, amplified and put. Repeaters do not understand frames, packets or headers, right? Classic uh, Ethernet repeaters would extend the length from 500 meters to 2500. So it can extend the length from 500 meters up to 2500 by adding repeaters. So look at that. That is the advantage of this. All right. So therefore, again, I will write the point maybe with a different thing for your convenience. Other points, important points. So repeaters are used to regain, boost up, regain, boost, other word, boost the strength of the signal strength of the signal okay so if the signal is weak and is not reaching to the other host we use repeater to place it in between the two hosts i hope you got the point okay so it works only on encoding of data and repeats the signal so that is a repeater simple device then what about uh, the next which is called hubs Generally, people uh, don't know much about hubs, which is an old device. Repeaters and hubs were used in very olden times, but not now. Maybe repeaters are used, but not hubs. Okay. So the fundamental difference or the fundamental aspect of hub is that hub, hub is a multi-port device. Repeater is a two-port, hub is a multi-port device, multi-port device. It has multiple ports. That is the only fundamental difference between repeater and hub. The repeater is a two-port device. Hub is a multi-port device and like repeater, it also has no intelligence, no intelligence, okay. Diagrammatically, if you want me to show, maybe hub will look something like this, this is a hub, this is a hub, then it, I, I can have one host here, another host here, another host here, like this. these are host, host one, machines, stations, host two, host three. Maybe I, I can have another host here. These are the ports on which these hosts are connected, okay? Host 5 and like that the others host 6, multi-port. So is one port, the another port, the another port, these are another one, another one, another six port hub, something like this, okay? So it is not, it will not perform, it will not perform routing. No routing is performed here. So if no routing is performed, then essentially question is what will it do? Okay, that means no routing means it cannot find best routes. But the only functionality of repeater is it just copies, it just copies the data from one port. That means one port, suppose if host one is sending something, so it copies the data from one port, okay and repeat or forward, repeat the data to all other ports. There is the point, there is the point you have to understand now. Suppose if I send the data over host through host one on this port, then it will repeat the data, it will copy it onto all other hosts, that all other ports, that is the meaning of it, okay? And uh, not only that, it copies onto all other ports uh, by maintaining you can you can understand like this by maintaining or regaining or boosting up the signal like repeater maintaining the original original strength original strength of the signal original strength of the signal this is what is the job of hub okay so the only fundamental difference is that repeater is two port hub is multi port Okay, so the data coming from one input line will be outputted onto all other output lines by maintaining the signal strength. There is no intelligence, no routing is performed, that is how. Okay, next. What is the next uh, in networking device used? So the next one used is uh, what we say bridges and switches. Earlier occasion we have already seen bridge, what is a bridge, etc. So these are data link layer device, data link layer device, okay. Some people say bridge, uh, use a bridge and switch interchangeably, okay. They are used for connecting two LANs. We have seen that already, two types of bridges we saw, source routing, transparent, etc. Okay, let me write it, transparent. What is the difference between these two? I have already presented 
uh, in my earlier videos you can watch them i'm not going to repeat here source routing and transparent bridges the algorithms which are also used for them i have also uh, uh, source routing bridges i've also discussed kindly watch my previous videos in detail i have discussed about this you can see it okay i'm not going to uh, repeat again okay so switch on the other hand this is generally when i say connecting to lan this is generally for bridge but switch let me write it here switch generally are multi port means multiple lans can be connected right multiple lans like for example if i have a switch here most often we used to use switches in our labs also so this is used to connect lan 1 this is used to connect lan 2 this can be used to connect lan 3 lan 4 and so on multi port like that okay and the switches may have buffer this is also data link layer device error checking uh, can be performed by switch and uh, switches can perform some but it can you you let me add that point switch can look at mac addresses what is mac address we have seen okay can look at mac addresses and then corresponding make decisions with regard to forwarding of the incoming frames and it can also perform some error checking if you want so rather i would say switches are bit rather more intelligent than bridges so essentially when a frame arrives the bridge or or the switch extracts the destination address from the frame header and looks up into the hash table to decide where to send the frame so therefore bridges offer much more better performance than hubs than repeaters okay and buffering is needed as i said in both bridges and uh, switches so in invariably in short i can say that switches are modern bridges by another name right so differences are more uh, to do with regard to their technical issues rather than functional issues so that is about bridges and switches next important aspect is uh, a very important device that works at network layer and that is called repeaters so let me write uh, sorry i'm sorry routers repeaters we have already done physical layer device routers so point number 1 this is essentially a network layer device network layer device it looks at ip addresses so there is a fundamental difference if somebody ask me in the interview in the viva what is the difference between a bridge and a router bridge is a data link layer device it looks at mac addresses and routers are network layer devices it looks at ip addresses so when a packet comes into a router the frame header and trailer are stripped off the frame header and trailer are basically data link layer uh, addresses and the packet located in frames payload is passed to the routing software this software chooses the output line which output line the, as we are going to learn in network layer we will have something called routing tables so that this routing tables will be indexed with the ip addresses so router will perform routing as the name implies routing by looking into these routing tables okay uh, which output line is uh, it should use for forwarding the incoming packet that is the fundamental difference between uh, uh, what you call router and uh, the the switch or the bridge so it uses routing tables it is used for interconnection used for interconnection of uh, interconnection of lans and wans lans and wans okay used for interconnection of lans and wans bridges oh, sorry uh, routers and uh, ip addresses as i said earlier uh, this ip addresses can be following ipv4 format or maybe ipv6 format this we'll study in detail uh, in the network layer when we take up the discussion okay so that is about routers then apart from that uh, there are other there are other uh, uh, devices also which are used uh, in the networking and those are called uh, transport gateways transport gateways so these are transport layer device that's why the way, uh, word transport transport layer device these connect computers that use different connection oriented transport protocols like tcp ip 
transport protocol communicating with SCTP connection oriented protocol. So when I use different transport layer protocols and then I need some changes to be made. So that is done by transport gateways. So like that we have uh, another last type of device which is called application gateways used at the application layer. Application gateways. They understand the format and the contents of the data. So therefore, let me write understands formats, format of the data and contents of the data. Right? And can translate. So if you tell you want any some conversions to be done, then that is done by application gateway. Uh, con conversions to be done in data formats etc right can translate from one format to another format right like for example i can have an email gateway email gateway so what will it do an email gateway could translate internet messages into sms messages from mobile phones so if i am sending the data from one mobile phone to maybe another application in another host i need some conversion so that is done so therefore an email gateway could translate the messages internet messages into sms sms is a different format and email is a different format so if you want to convert from one format to another format then these application gateways are used so these are the various networking devices which uh, i have shown you Application gateway, transport gateway, router, bridges, switches, repeater. So this could be a simple five mark question in your exam. So if you follow this discussion which I made here and prepare notes based on that, then that will be more than sufficient. So therefore, again summarizingly, repeaters are a physical layer device, two port device, no intelligence. They analog are they are analog devices and they boost up the signal signal strength, and therefore that can be used for extending the scale of the network. Hub is a multi-port device and essentially carrying out the same functionality as that of repeater. There is no difference. Next, bridges and repeater uh, and switches are uh, the modern devices. They are used at data and clear. They can look at the MAC addresses. They are used for interconnection of two different plans. And types of bridges are transparent and source routing. Okay, and uh, generally the words uh, are used interchangeably: switch and bridge. Routers is a network layer device. It performs routing by looking into the uh, IP addresses, uh, by looking at the IP addresses which may be IPv4, IPv6 into the routing table. Used for interconnection of LANs and WANs. So, so most, of our, most of the time at our homes also we use routers, is it not? Through maybe a lease line or a fiber optic line. Uh, then we have router connected to our system and that router will be connected to the other uh, components of the network through of the, of the ISP, Internet Service Provider. And then transport gateways, so back at the transport layer, they understand uh, uh, basically that they are used for uh, transport gateways are needed when I use different transport layer protocols of two different networks. Application gateways understand formats and contents of the data and can translate from one to the other. As I said earlier, an email, simple email gateway would translate the email to SMS messages or maybe SMS messages, messages can be converted to email etc. So that's all about networking devices.